Hey everyone! I just wanted to wear the sunglasses to kind of make it look like it was a summertime effect. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, so I just got done recording my video for the Applying Self Tanner. And I used a three piece gift set from Sun Laboratories. I'm going to post the link down below. They have all kinds of stuff. But I used um, the three piece gift set that's $39.95. I'm glowing. This is my third time using the product, and as you can see, it's a little darker. It's nice. Yeah, so hope you like this video. I know I'm a mess right now. Um, 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 um. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and like I said, I'm going to post the link down below if you're interested in knowing anything else about the product. Hey everyone, so I told you that I would make another video on the Sun Laboratory self tanning gift set and that's what I'm going to do now. So I don't have anything on my face and I have nothing on my skin. I know it would probably be better to do this kind of video like in a bathing suit or something because that's probably how normal people would be applying sun tan lotion but there's no way I'm going to get on a camera in my bathing suit because I'm just not the type of person that shows that much flesh to an audience of people watching me on the internet. That's not going to happen. So instead, I put on a bathing suit top. I have a tank top on and some shorts, which you can't see because my, um, my tripod broke. So I have this camera that like will not stand up by itself. It has to have a tripod. So I'm having a hard time setting it up right now. It's actually leaning against a Bible and sitting on my, uh, a thing of clear tape. So anyway, this is the gift set from Sun Laboratories. This is the self tanning exfoliator, lotion, and tan moisturizer maintainer. It's a lotion that um, helps maintain the tanner that you're going to apply. And once you do, you kind of uh, go back and forth. You'll use... Say you use the tanner at night, when you get up the next morning, you apply the maintainer. Um, or you can do it whatever time of the day you want to. It's daytime right now. It's 3.40 something, so I'm going to apply the self tanner now. And I can apply the maintainer later today, because it's going to be hours later when I do it. Or I could do it tomorrow, whichever. Um, this is the set of three. I showed you it in the last video. This is the exfoliator. Hey, alright, my battery died, so while you guys weren't looking, I took a quick bath and I exfoliated with the exfoliator that comes in the gift set. I also used the body poof and um, I lotioned areas that you don't need to see, like my stomach and stuff. I already put the self tanner on there, so now I'm just going to do my arms and legs, my face, and my feet because you don't want to have white feet and tan legs or a white face and tan body. So I applied it up here on my neck. Um, I'm going to use some gloves because where I just applied it and then washed my hands, I really don't want to be stuck with brown hands. So um, I'm going to use these little gloves right here. And so I'm already exfoliated and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the difference. See, it looks like dirty mud when you're putting it on. I should have used gloves in the first place so I could have really got the top of my hands good. So, just applying it. Evenly, you don't want to be streaky. Actually, guess what? Gloves gotta go because they were making me a little streaky. They're like putting plastic lines. Let's try to get a little back here. I already did as much of my back as I could off camera. So I want to show you the difference. Do you see the difference? Sorry. Rub it in a little bit better. This arm is a little darker. All right. Now I got that side done. Get a little up here by my wrist. And I'm going to do the other arm. Here we go. Dark mud. And rub. Rub just like you're doing a lotion. I usually have a full size mirror in front of me so that I can look at every inch of my body and know that I'm getting an even application. 
You might want to consider that. This is a little hard for me right now, doing it without a mirror. And make sure you pull all your hair back, because you don't want to get anything in your hair. Especially me, I have blonde hair. I'm going to get nothing but blonde hair. I was looking back there to see what's up there. All right. So I did my arms. I'm not going to do my armpits. Nobody looks at them. Nobody needs to look at them. All right. There we go. I'm done with my arms, and now I'm going to start on the legs. And now I have this color hands. But what I want to tell you, if you don't use gloves, um, take the exfoliator and take a nail brush and just scrub your hands. You'll be exfoliating your hands, making them softer, and also getting rid of the product on your hands. Another thing when using the exfoliator, make sure you get the extra dry spots like your elbows, your knees, and your ankles. It's going to get all up in, you know, the creases of the callous parts of your body, so make sure to scrub them really good and get the dead skin off of them so that it applies much more nicely and much more evenly. All right, now, when it comes to your feet, my feet look so ugly right now. I don't even feel like showing them. I already did this one. haven't done this one yet. It's not that big of a... Um, a dramatic difference so you don't really need to get in between your toes but make sure you get it good here and over here and like you know your ankle and stuff so that it's all even on that side don't get it on the bottom of your feet and don't get in between your toes that would just look ridiculous so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna squeeze a little bit here like that and rub it on there I'm rubbing it over my toes not in my toes on the sides on the inside Get a little bit more of the product. That's a blister right there from some heels I wore to a car show last week. All right, so just apply it all over the top of your toes and over there on the sides. Ew, my feet look so veiny right now. And in there and around the back, just a little bit of the back, and voila! So the next thing I'm going to do is my face. Um, I done did my entire body, so now it's time to do my face. I didn't use the exfoliator on my face. Somebody asked me if you can. I'm sure you can, but I'm not going to because my skin's sensitive enough. I don't know what that would do to it. My face has kind of broke out from stress lately, so I don't want to put any more pressure on my poor skin. But um, I'm just going to take some of the product, rub my hands together, and this looks crazy. I know, but rub it in. Now, I'm not going to put it underneath my under eyes because they're already dark and I use stuff to cover them up, so why would I want to put brown stuff under my eyes? Make sure, do your mouth like that, you don't want to get your lips. 